We have some sad news to pass along tonight. Our friend and former colleague, veteran St. Louis news anchor Dick Ford, has died. As recently as last February, we were able to chat with him about his storied career. This is my desk in the Channel 5 newsroom. Uh, Dick Ford was a fixture in the Channel 5 newsroom for more than 20 years and in St. Louis homes for twice that long. We worked a lot of hours um, and worked hard and we played hard. Well, After starting his career in the Northeast, he first came to KSD-TV in 1969. What, what impressed me about Channel 5 originally was how seriously they, they considered news. Uh, we're going to premiere another new feature on the program this evening. He worked as a reporter in the early days before moving to the Newsbeat program, a program that is still remembered by people of a certain age. It went off the air in 1982, but people still talk to me about it. And it, it, it rang a bell, and, and the, the program was enormously successful because they let us alone. We could do almost anything we wanted to do. St. Louis News on Eyewitness News at 5, 6, and 10, only on Channel 5. In the 1980s, the anchor team of Dick Ford and Karen Foss, Ford and Foss, helped KSDK become one of the highest-rated local newscasts in the country. And for the newsroom, he was always our North Star. I always said you can't make yourself look good by making other people look bad. An Emmy winner, a member of the St. Louis Media Hall of Fame, and a friend. For Channel 5 Eyewitness News on the Riverfront. Dick Ford was 88 years old. On a personal note, he was a mentor and a friend to me and to all of us who were lucky enough to work with him. As Deanne Lane told me today, we've lost a good one. Our thoughts and prayers are with his wife Gail and his entire family. A Missouri man's